Good evening, church. I want to talk to you a little bit about being afraid to get up off the couch, metaphorically speaking. See, sometimes it'll be the end of the end of a long day. I'm tired. Just want to sit down and relax for a little bit. You know, just plop into the couch, and my kid runs up to me and says, "Dad, you want to play with me?" And I really don't want to because. I'm afraid of what I'm gonna lose. I don't wanna lose what I got by sitting still, right? I'm gonna lose the comfiness. I'm gonna lose a chance to rest. I'm gonna lose out on being able to just veg out and watch my TV show. But instead of thinking about what I'm gonna lose, I remind myself, no, think about what amazing things can happen if I do it. If I say yes, if I get up, if I willingly lose or risk giving up what I've got in favor of something better. This is an attitude we need to have about ourselves, attitude we need to have in church. So many times when some new opportunity, some new suggestion, some just new anything comes up, we jump to being afraid of what we're gonna lose. We might not even consciously think of it that way, but most of the time, our reticence to change is a fear of loss. We're afraid of what we're gonna lose if we say yes. But instead of being afraid of what we're gonna lose by saying yes, let us instead change our minds to be th thinking about what amazing things could happen if we do say yes. Let's pray. Gracious God, help us to have a forward-looking mindset that seeks to embrace the amazing things that could be yet to come instead of looking with fear at what we could possibly lose if we go after that amazing future. In Christ's holy name we pray. Amen. Thanks for tuning in, folks. If you found this beneficial, share it with your friends. Take care of yourselves. Take care of one another. And I'll see you next time. And don't forget, be kind.